Hi everyone, my name is Brendan Hodek and I'm an instructor at New York Speech Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to another episode of Voice Breakdown. Today's episode will be the third in our component focus series. The premise of Voice Breakdown is that most voices can be broken down into six simple components. Figure out those six components and you can imitate any voice you wish. But what happens when one of those components is difficult for you? Many of you have commented how there tends to be that one component that is the trickiest for you. Thus, we have decided to make some videos to give you helpful exercises to gain control over these components, especially the first four, which are the vocal cords, the larynx, the tongue, and the soft palate. Today, we will be focusing on the tongue. The tongue is a fascinating body part that can do many different types of movement. In fact, it can do multiple types of movement at the same time. This is because the front of the tongue can move independently of the back of the tongue. The front of the tongue can move up, down, forward, and backward, and the back of the tongue can do the same. Another important movement of the tongue is that the muscles can flex, clench, or tense. We have some exercises today to help you to be able to do all of these types of movements. Our first exercise we call the back of tongue slides. As I mentioned previously, the front and back of the tongue can move independently of each other. This means we need to learn how to move the back of the tongue by itself and the front of the tongue by itself without recruiting any other body parts. This exercise will help us to move the back of the tongue. The vowel E has the back of the tongue at its highest and most forward position while the vowel ah has the back of the tongue at its lowest position. We can use these vowels as positional landmarks. In order to gain precise movement over the back of the tongue, we want to be able to slide from e to ah and vice versa as gradually as possible. What you might find as you try to do this is that the tongue jumps or skips as opposed to moving more smoothly. We want to iron out these kinks in tongue movement. Here is how the exercise works. First, place the tip of your tongue against the back of your bottom front teeth. This will ensure that the front of the tongue does not move during the exercise. Second, make sure that your jaw is relaxedly open. Do this in front of a mirror to make sure that your jaw and mouth do not move during this exercise. Again, since we are trying to get individualized tongue movement, we do not want any other body parts, including the jaw, to move. Once you have the tip of the tongue and the jaw in place, then try sliding from E to A. E you want to do this as gradually as possible. You might hear a skip like this. E -a, e -a. Those moments are the ones we want to fix. Try to make it more smooth. E then you can try the slide in the opposite direction. I this slide will give you great back of tongue control. Then we of course need to learn how to move the front of the tongue around. One helpful exercise for this is the front of tongue slide. To do this exercise, first start by making a TH sound, then gradually slide to an SH sound without any skips or jumps along the way, just like our vowel slides. That should sound like this. Of course, then we need to do it in the opposite direction. Once you can do this, then do the voiced versions of these sounds by turning the vocal cords on. You can also mix and match the direction of your sliding and whether or not the vocal cords are turned on or off. We also need to learn how to move the front of the tongue while the back of the tongue is fixed. Our exercise for this is the locked NG with front of tongue freedom. First, make an NG sound. Mm. 
NG is made by the back of our tongue raising to touch our lowered soft palate, blocking sound from entering the mouth and causing it to go through the nose. If you have trouble finding this sound, say the word sing and hold out the end of the word. Sing. Sing. That position that you are holding at the end of the word is the NG. You might find that while holding the NG that it is hard to move the front of your tongue around. Try keeping that NG locked in place and then moving your front of tongue in all its possible positions. These include backwards, forwards, up, down, to the left, and to the right. We want to be able to transition through all of those positions with ease, never allowing the back of the tongue to leave the NG position. This exercise will truly help to decouple the front and back of tongue. It should look like this. The next exercise we call the gargle release, hiss release. This exercise will give you even more increased control over the back of the tongue. We have all gargled water or mouthwash before. Try to make a gargling sound as if you had water or mouthwash in your mouth. Then release that sound. This will give you a sensation of the tongue pulling backwards and even get you close to the feeling of the tongue clench. Sometimes you might hear people describe this as speaking from the back of the throat. If you can speak while keeping the back of the tongue in a gargle-like position, then you can do so many voices. Ah, oh, ah, oh, speaking from the back of the throat. Then we want to try to make a hiss sound, then release that sound. This is another direction the back of the tongue can move, this time in a more upward motion. To complete this exercise, see if you can move from the gargle position, release the tongue, then to the hiss position and release the tongue again. Feel free to repeat this as many times as you like. Lastly, we want to talk about the tongue clench. As we have said before, the back of the tongue can clench, tense, or flex. This is so important for many character voices. You can think about the muscles of your tongue doing the same kind of movement that your bicep does when you flex it. If you can flex your bicep, you can flex your tongue. It helps to have some way to help you feel this movement, however. One way is the gargling motion we mentioned before. That will start to recruit the clenching muscles a bit. But another way is to monitor the muscles underneath your tongue. Place your hands underneath the tongue. Without doing any tongue movements, it should feel pretty loose and free moving. As I clench the tongue, as I clench the tongue, however, this area tends to tighten up and become more hard, especially towards the very back. Try to make noise and then physically tighten the area beneath the tongue. While it is hard to imagine the tongue itself flexing for some people, it tends to be easier imagining these muscles tensing. See if you can make sound, tighten that area, and then release. Feel free to mix and match all these exercises, transitioning from one to the next on one breath to see if you really have control over the tongue. Thank you for watching another one of our component focus videos. We hope this has helped you master the tricky tongue. Be sure to check out future episodes of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices.